Aquarius, I hope you guys are doing lovely. This is going to be your weekly reading from the 15th through the 21st of April. Let's jump straight into it. Four more shuffles. What's going on with you, Aquarius? All right. First card out of the deck. Five of Swords. Or a five of ones, rather. This is this is a, a frictional state, to say the least. You could be involved with other people in which you're not in good terms, or this this fury of energy could be all in your own head. We're going to figure this out here in just a moment. Nevertheless, what's in the challenge position is the hermit, which entails that what's required at this time for you is introspection, isolation. So it behooves you to take some time out for yourself. Maybe isolate yourself from the world and really dive deep within you, okay? If you're searching for some sort of peace or for some sort of answer or some sort of direction, or you're trying to figure out some problem that you have at hand, the answer is within you. That's where you'll find it. So, hence, the hermit is basically pointing you toward going within yourself. In the subconscious position, we have the tower. The tower is all about a paradigm shift. The tower is all about breaking old patterns breaking what's been established in order to create something new. This major change, this, this destructive change, is all going within your own subconscious, ladies and gentlemen. This is great. This is profound. Change is wonderful, especially when in the past you've been in a state of grievance, in a state of suffering, in a state of misery, when it comes to you looking at something here. All right? You've been basically wielding your own perspective and have been inducing some negative feelings within your own self. Mind you, we are in control of how we view things. You could have undergone something bothersome, and you could have looked at it through a different scope and said, you know what, this situation wasn't for me, or this is what I can learn from this, this is what I can take from this situation. But instead, you were possibly embedding yourself in some fucking grimy feelings that just made you sad, depressed. Shit, you probably shed some tears. All right, but that's in the past, ladies and gentlemen. That's in the past. This friction is something that needs to be destroyed within you. Okay, it needs to be destroyed. However, however fucking catastrophic necessary, it needs to be done with. It doesn't serve you and you are aligning yourself with this destruction. All right, look at you, exuding the energy of the Three of Swords. Emotionally distraught. This is a heavy reading, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do my best to help you through this, all right? Now, don't take anything I say personal. I may get under your skin, and if I do, good. That's what you want to focus on. Why did I get under your skin with what I said? If I don't get under your skin, good as well, okay? Love and light. Anyways, so what I'm... Um, that was sarcastic. What I'm seeing here in regards to whomever it is that you're dealing with, the magician. The magician can be one or two things. It could be someone that is trying to devise something productive or someone that is manipulative. We're going to see here in just a moment. It doesn't seem that love is in your mind necessarily. You're more so self-interested when it comes to your romantic life. And what I mean by this is focusing on your own love, focusing on your own contentment. Not so much a relationship or someone else. That is where I see your energy. And I see this energy bringing you a sense of abundance, okay? A sense of prosperity, a sense of growth. So Aquarius, what I'm seeing essentially is you working on yourself this week. Why is the queen of coins in the challenge position? Why is the queen of coins in the challenge position? <clears throat> so, guys, some of you have... Are investing your energy on your economic life and it's bringing about money okay some of you guys are experiencing a flow of money some of you are experiencing a sense of stability when it comes to your finances all right <clears throat> now when it comes to your love life i'm not seeing much communication i'm not seeing much interaction ladies and gentlemen i'm i'm gonna be flat out with you your love life seems dull all right your love life seems dull um and that's okay Love, romantic love is, shouldn't be at the forefront of your life always. There's a time and place for, for things. And right now, it seems that you're focusing on yourself, on your own groundedness, on building your own domain, as you should be. All right? Because you're coming from a state of, of 
turbulence when it comes to your emotions and you're still dealing with something that's frictional, something that you may be, I don't want to say running from, but something that you are not navigating so effectively. You got to go within yourself, Aquarius. You got to go within yourself. If I could give you any advice when it comes to this situation, because I know something from the past is vexing you. All right. How can you overcome this? What? What's, I don't know. Even... Hold on, Aquarius. <clears throat> exploration you got to try something new you got to try something new and i'm not talking about something new when it comes outside of you i'm not saying go try a new sport or go date someone new i'm saying try a new method in regards to how you are working with your shadow all right out of personal advice it's maybe maybe if you sit down okay sit down with yourself and turn off all the lights in the room go st go stay in a dark room and turn on a candle turn on a candle Preferably white, okay, for purity, for, for something positive. Turn on a white candle and put it in front of you, ladies and gentlemen, and meditate. Put on music, put on meditative music, music that really calms you down, and intentionally try to drift deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into your subconscious. Feel yourself go into a trance, feel yourself begin to lose yourself of this present reality, okay? And when you're there, when you're consciously there, you're obviously going to have thoughts arise and you know, sh silence those thoughts by coming back to focusing on your breath and getting yourself lower and lower and lower. And once you feel yourself very calm, very calm, ask your higher self, how can you navigate this situation? How can you turn this around? Ask yourself this question and then go back into silence. Go back into silence and the answer will appear. But you have to get down to your subconscious in order for you to attain this answer. All right? That is your advice when it comes to the hermit. It seems that the battery on my camera is going to die, ladies and gentlemen. So if it does, I will change it swiftly. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, like I said, your love life seems to be quite frictional to say the least. Your emotional state, three of swords, you got something to work on. I really hope that you do follow my advice and tune in inwardly because it seems that you're in need of that, all right? You're gonna find peace through that. You're gonna find peace with yourself. You're not gonna find peace by outside circumstances coming into your life. You're gonna find peace by you finding it within you, all right? What's going on with this individual here, the magician? Someone that, that is linked to your love life. Why is this individual popping up in your love life when you seem invulnerable or when you, when you seem, uh, Un unavailable. Well, someone here is having a realization, a realization of what? A realization that they want to be with you, that they want to connect with you. Someone here is having some sort of epiphany moment and they're wishful and hopeful that they're wanting to come together with you and basically come together. And not only that, they are taking action to make this happen. Aquarius, I think I give you enough substance to work on yourself. When it comes to your love life, I'm going to go ahead and take this to the extended and I'm going to look deeper into whomever it is that's connecting with you on a romantic level. All right, whether you're aware of it or not, what's this individual's true desires with you, their true feelings? What actions are they going to be taking towards you? The link will be in the description. All right, I'll see you there. Otherwise, it's been a pleasure.